Hey, this is Jill for me today. I have a great class I love. It's a standing act. We're going to work your core 30 degrees. We're going to do hip hip twists. And we're going to do it in a way where we really activate all of those muscle fibers. You're going to feel it. Let's reach it out. So let's just warm up the sides here because we're going to be using these muscles called the obliques a lot. So we want to warm them up. So you want to stay really lift. Lifting your rib cage. Let's turn it to the side. Really pulling up from the top of your head. Nice posture. I applaud you for taking time out of your day, probably sitting in some fashion, whether you're at the desk or whatever. This is such a healthy thing to do for yourself. Self-care, get fit, and get a really strong core. Let's reach down to the side. So again, we're warming up these obliques here and strengthening the obliques. Hang out with me until the end, because you need at least 10 minutes a day to really begin to strengthen those muscles. You know, we wouldn't imagine that we would have big biceps if we didn't actually work those muscles. So the th same thing goes for your core. So you can do it. We have 10 minutes here together, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Now let's do the Hip. So it's kind of like a corkscrew motion. I'm reaching that clock on a clock. Stay nice and lifted. This posture in your upper body is also what's really going to activate your core. And you should already feel your body heating up. Because with belly dancing, we activate a lot of these deep core internal muscles that you just don't activate if you're doing crunches or other ordinary abdominal exercises. Good. Nice. All right. With our first movement, so we're going to do a hip drop. And we're going to do it really slowly as we come up. So we're going to come up very slowly and then drop. And the drop is a release. So we're going to squeeze, 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 and then release. Squeeze as slowly as you can, release. Now, when you do a hip drop, you want to have good bend in that standing leg. You want to tuck your tailbone under, lift your chest just working these muscles on the seam line of your shirt, the top of your hips, the bottom of your rib cage. So we're going to squeeze, 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 drop, squeeze, 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 drop, squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop. So we're fibers by slowing it down and make it as smooth as you can. Squeeze, drop. Squeeze, drop. Try to hold it every step of the way. Like you know those connect the dots? It's like that, you're connecting the dots in the muscle. Lift, two, three, drop. Lift, two, three, drop. Lift, two, three, drop. Lift, two, three, drop. Squeeze and drop. Squeeze. Good. All right, let's just kind of stretch it out. Now, when you do these exercises, you're also really working your glutes. You're probably because those are your stabilizer muscles. Okay, let's try. Nice bend in that standing leg. That's super important. And we squeeze, drop. One, two, three. Four. Make it as slow and smooth as you can. Drop. Squeeze. Two, three, four. Squeeze. And you're probably going to notice that side to side. 
This is actually, I'm right-handed, but this is my And I'm not as strong as my left side, and I feel that. I feel smooth, and that'll just take a while. Squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop, drop. Good, now we're gonna work in the opposite direction. We're gonna drop, come up into, we call this an up hip, where we're emphasizing. Down, two, three, slow, up. Six, seven, eight, and up, slow, up, slow, it's hard. Up, slow, and up, slow, and up. Slow, it's giving you muscle control, slow. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Up, two, let's switch sides. Nice bend, shoulders down and back. And let's go. Up, slow, and up, slow. Up, slow. Up, slow. Up, slow, up, slow, up, slow, and up, slow. It's all okay, let's stretch it out. Do some twists. So we're just, keep your knees straight here. So pretend like you have your knees wrapped. And we're just going to bring one hip forward at a time. So this is great for working the front part of your abs and your obliques. Now we don't do twists a lot in our daily life. So this is a great way to muscles that you don't normally use. Squeeze and twist, 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 twist. I'm sweating. And twist, twist. But that's because we're working those muscles and we're stoking our metabolism. Hang in there, you got this. Twist, twist. Now let's just make it looser and faster. Kind of like the bottom part of you is in a washing machine. Kind of weird. Good, let's kind of shift our weight from side to side here. And the other side. Okay, now let's go back to those drops. We're just going to do drops and we're just going to do ups. With that. Starting on the right. Nice bend in that knee and let's start with the drop. Six, seven, eight, and drop, 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 lift, drop, lift, drop. Good, let's try to pick it up and drop. It's okay if you can't do this tempo. Slow it down to a tempo that feels doable for you right now. And then keep coming back how much you've improved and drop. You can commit to doing 10 minutes, three or four times a week, you're gonna notice a huge difference in your core strength. I feel it too, I'm just pretending. Good, let's do some circles, just kind of stretch it out. This is a good way to just stretch it out. A belly dance sorbet. We're cleaning our palate here. And let's go on the other side. Slow, drop. Drop, 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 drop. And if you want to, you can pick it up and drop. And actually us doing that practice is gonna make your drops stronger. Because we're activating more muscle fibers and then It'll be easier when you do the actual movement. Good, let's go back to those twists, slow, slow. 
So give yourself the time and the opportunity to grow and get stronger. Be consistent, do what you can, and think small, small bits daily. Let's speed it up. Do something good for yourself. You know, so many things we do in life have consequences, negative consequences. This only has positive consequences for you. And there's not many things that we can say that about. And what a blessing to move and step, step. To be here today, to be able to move our body and flow and have fun is what it's all about. Good, we're almost there, hang in there. Good, nice, all right. Just take those shoulders back. Two, three, four, and forward. And really just honor what you did for yourself today. And let's stretch out the sides, nice side stretch. And open the chest. So you want to get that stretch forward and reverse. Woo! Good. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for new videos all the time and leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to see or if there's just something you want me to know and I'll see you soon.